Hi everyone, I wanted to record a quick video showing you how cool note-taking can be if you use Notion as a platform. So we are in our language progress tracker and um, let's create a new day, shall we? So let's call it day four. Here we are. Let's choose the date. Let's make it today, shall we? And as you can see, it's automatically on the top. Um, so look, one thing that I wanted to show is that you can apply filters and limit what dice you want to show. Let's say that you have a couple of dice. Let's let's make one more. Um, let's say like I don't know, day five. But let's pick a different day. For example, 29th of July. And if you click here, there's this filter thing, which you can apply. You click add filter, and then you filter them by date. Date, where date is uh, one week ago, for example. Or we can say within one week ago. And by doing that, we can see only recent dates. And again, if I go back to the filter and click the past month, month, I see all, I should see all the dice here. One second, yeah, you see, here they are. So you can filter them using different things. For example, last month or last week, or I don't know, yesterday or a certain date. Okay, so coming back, um, once we created this page, we can open it up as a separate page. And in here you can see all the things that you uh, want to track. It's the same, but if you scroll down, you will see a like an empty canvas for you to create whatever you want to create. So let's imagine that I want to practice extensive listening and I watched a video on YouTube, one of my favorite videos ever, which is called Six Problems with Our School System. So let's create beautiful notes here, shall we? So if you type this slash thing, it opens up a like a bar of all the different things that you can do. Let's um, choose a heading and type the name of the video that we're gonna watch six problems with our school system you can edit the text the way you like you can change the color the font and everything oops sorry that was accidental um i want to include a youtube video that i used for this very one so i um, embed the link and here it is here's the video so you can re-watch it if you want. So it's lovely. So look, one thing that uh, I know about this video, it's very structured. There are six problems which they talk about, and I want to write my own summary of them, trying to remember some of the words and some of the vocabulary. So what I want to do is this. I want to create a short summary point for each of the problem that they mentioned in the video. So how do I do that? Of course, you can just write everything. I mean, you can just type and that would be okay, but there is a way to advance that a little bit. There is a cool function, which I use a lot and you have probably seen it in my uh, tracker. It's toggle function. Um, so here it is. We create a toggle list. And because I want to structure that, I kind of create this bigger thing uh, inside. So I say industrial age values. That's the first problem. And then the second problem is something. And then the third problem is problem number three. So look, I create this outline. Now, once I open this toggle up, I can create one more toggle. Once again, I type slash and then I start writing TO and then it suggests a toggle. And I just write summary. And then I open that up. And inside of that, I just write what this part of the video was about. For example, oh, industrial age mentality still runs deep in our society. So I have written a short summary and I can highlight some text here, for example, new words or anything of that sort. For example, I would like to highlight this phrase. Doo -doo -doo. I want to do that. Oh yeah, look at that, how beautiful it is. So I can highlight some new words or something of that kind. So I kind of summarize it, use the vocabulary. Now, what I can do with the same thing, I can hide this away. So summary is here. It doesn't 
clog up your notes in, in general. What I can do as well is do some vocabulary tests here. Because, you know, note-taking is not really the most effective way to retain information. But what you can do is actively recall information. You can do that by asking yourself some questions. Let me show what I mean. So, for example, I make this vocabulary test, so to say. And then remember this phrase that I highlighted? It still runs deep in our mentality. So what if I create a new toggle? which is that. And I try to test my memory with this very phrase. So I know, I googled that, uh, that if something runs deep, it's very strong and serious. So I write synonym for something very serious. I can open that toggle up and write, it runs deep. So look, by creating this little test, I can hide it away. I open it and first I see the question and then having read that, I need to think and recall it actively from my memory. And then, ha, ah, it runs deep, here we are. You see, that's the beauty of it. I really love this testing thing. Let's add one more phrase here, shall we? So for example, I added the second word, which is rigid. Ta -da! I can kind of hide them away. That's why I love toggles, just because they make your notes look so compact. You don't need to clog up your notes. So, so I can do the same for other problems. And then as a result, I would have a nice outline of all of that. I created an interactive app, for example, Quizlet or Wordwall or whatever. I can add the link here. Let me show you how it would look like. So I created uh, an exercise with the phrases and I want to practice that. So I can copy the link from here, go back to my page and then link this exercise there, but there is more. Let's say I type exercise. I can create a link, link and again, I can highlight it and then I can add a memo and a, um, like a notification to remind myself of something. For example, I want to revise that. Friday, 9 a.m. And you see, it adds a date and a time, which is really neat. If you want to make sure to remind yourself of that, you can send this little notification here. One more thing, imagine that I want to write my own um, essay or article about problems that I face uh, in education. So what I can do, let's say that I googled some functional language for talking about problems and suggesting solutions. I wrote it all here, but now I feel that it's kind of clogging up my notes and it's not really a key thing that I wanted to practice. It's, it was more about the video itself. So what I can do is this, I can create a new sub page, go back here. I can change its name and I can rename it to function language of problems and solutions. And the beauty is that I can kind of highlight this all, put it right in there. And once I open it, it's going to be a separate page of its own. I can always go back and see what I have here. So coming back to the habit tracker, uh, if I click to the calendar view, if I switch to the calendar view and check day four, this is what my notes would look like. I can open it up and see a um, short summary. I can test myself using vocabulary. I can link some exercise and videos and pages. You can link to anything and I can even create sub pages there as well. But yeah, feel free to experiment with Notion. I just don't want to be, you know, bombarding you with too many things that Notion is capable of doing, but there are a lot of things that you can do here. So have a look and give it a try.